They're friendly, pink, and beloved by the people of Hong Kong. But experts say the Chinese white dolphin faces its latest battle for survival, with a $19 billion project to link the city to mainland China. The dolphin's numbers have fallen nearly 80% over the past decade. And now, there are only 47 of them left in these waters. I'm Reuters reporter Brett Clenet in Tai O, where sightings of the Chinese white dolphin have become increasingly rare. And that's largely because of man-made factors, including pollution, boat traffic and development like this, the world's longest running sea crossing bridge. Conservationists say the construction of mega projects like it have had a huge impact on their habitat. The dolphin, also known as the Indo-Pacific humpback dolphin, appears pink because of blood vessels beneath its skin. It was the official mascot of Hong Kong's handover from Britain to China in 1997. So we've stopped here because we've spotted about a handful of dolphins. Now this is a popular feeding spot, but there's concern about how healthy one of them is. That may be because of noise pollution below the water's surface. According to experts, the noise from construction makes it hard for the animals to feed and even communicate with each other. When a Hong Kong to Macau bridge is starting to uh, build, uh, we have uh, we hear an increase in uh, underwater noise, uh, background noise, which is not good for dolphins because they rely on the sound to navigate and to uh, find prey. The dolphins have been showing other signs of distress, like skin lesions and infections, due to stress and high noise levels. The government says it plans to designate more marine parks for the animals, but conservationists warn previous government efforts to compensate for infrastructure projects haven't been successful. And so far, they haven't brought back the dolphins.